वेलकम बैक आई एम प्रीति सियोर्ड यू वुड हैव इंजॉयड वर्ड प्रेस इंस्टॉलेशन इन लास्ट क्लास बट वी आर येट टू डू लॉट ऑन आवर सर्वर लेट्स कनेक्ट टू आवर रिमोट सर्वर एज आई सेड इन वन क्लास दैट आवर वेबसाइट फाइल्स एंड फोल्डर्स आर स्टोर्ड इन साइड डब्ल्यू 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 डायरेक्टरी सो लेट्स ओपन इट टू डू दैट वी नीड टू टाइप सी डी स्लैस भी ए आर स्लैस डब्ल्यू 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 टाइप एल एस स्पेस हाइफन एल एंड वी हैव थ्री फोल्डर्स इन हेयर द फर्स्ट वन फाइव टाइम्स टू हाउसेस एडमिन टूल्स द सेकेंड वन एल्फ्स बॉक्स डॉट कॉम दैट इज ऑल्सो आवर डोमेन इट हाउसेस आवर वेब फाइल्स एंड द थर्ड वन हाउसेस डिफॉल्ट पेज और द एडमिन टूल्स इफ एडमिन टूल्स वेयर इंस्टॉल्ड नाउ लेट्स गेट इन साइड एल्फ्स बॉक्स डायरेक्टरी सी डी एल्फ्स बॉक्स डायरेक्टरी डॉट कॉम Now uh, once again type l s l and uh, here we have three directory c o n f c o n f stores configuration files of engine x web server st docs stores all the wordpress files and folders and the third one is logs directory which stores log file the fourth one is the file and that is wp config file Let's get inside ht docs folder ls space l, and here we have all the WordPress files and folders. Now let's go back and uh, let's get into the logs folder. The one is access dot log and other one is error dot log. You can always view these files by using less command l e double s access dot log. Now, as can be seen, the the remote server was accessed from this IP address on twenty third December at uh, this time, and this one was the URL. so this is how you can view your access dot log now let's go back to do that we need to press control plus c after that press q and we are back similarly we can view error dot log as of now our server hasn't encountered with any error so nothing is here to display Let's go back again. Press Control plus C, and after that, press Q. Now we are going to do some basic configuration. Open the file attached with this video. I would recommend you to start from this video for installation of websites on cloud server in future. However, at this time, our previous installation of WordPress site in last class will do no harm. We can also delete any website by using this command: sudo superuser do double site delete site name elfsbox dot com. Next, if you want to delete database, type y. and if you want to delete web root to type y obviously to create website once again we can type sudo double e site create elfsbox.com hyphen hyphen wp let's roll back now the very first step towards basic configuration is to update the server after installation of ubuntu server type sudo apt-get update and apt-get upgrade press enter looks like we are not permitted to perform update 
we are getting this message because we haven't granted super user permission to this user let's understand with the help of flowchart on amazon instance we have two users by default root user and ubuntu user root login is disabled by default for all purposes to perform uh, super user tasks like installation or uninstallation of softwares we need to grant super user privileges to this ubuntu user or uh, we can create a user with super user privileges on other servers by default we have only one user that is root user in order to protect our server from hackers we need to create an user with the super user privileges and disable root login at present i am using aws so to perform update we need to grant super user privileges to this user whose name is ubuntu or we can switch account this time i am gonna switch account type sudo space hyphen i Notice the changes at the left of the comments. Now we will be working as root user. Now run the update comments once again. Next we will set up host name. At present our host name is this. To change host name type or copy this command. In here host name is email. There are many reasons behind selection of hostname as email. First one is when we send emails it appears to be originated from hostname.domainname.com. That is by default emails were signed by email.hostname that is elfsbox.com. The second one is spam assassin do reverse lookup to check whether email is spam or legitimate. With this configuration, if they did, they will find email.elpsbox.com. This means uh, they will categorize our email as legitimate. You can also use mail as hostname, but uh, don't use www to avoid any conflict. Next, copy this command, paste it, and execute it. One more step is needed if uh, DHCPD exists. Check it by typing ls ls slash etc slash default and slash etc slash default is full path. It doesn't exist here. Let's check the hostname by typing hostname. So our hostname is successfully changed. Next we will set up fqdn which stands for fully qualified domain name. FQDN consists of a host name and the domain name. To set up FQDN, we need to edit a host's file. Type nano. Here nano is the name of the editor. After that file location, slash etc slash hosts. We have few entries in here. Edit it. It uh, should look like this. Copy the first line from here and paste it here type or copy this ip next we need to type uh, hostname.example.com type hostname email.elpsbox.com uh, and after that hostname once again email now enter IP address of server and once again type email.elpsbox.com email. So our fully qualified domain is email.elpsbox.com. Save it by pressing Ctrl X. After that Y. Next we will change the time zone by typing or uh, let's copy dpkg reconfigure tg data select the geographic area now your time zone 
next uh, check the date and time by typing date now we will create an user to our server i have already mentioned we need to create an user to disable root login to create user type sudo add user after that uh, type username let's say james now type your password once again enter your full name leave it blank 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 yes all right next we need to grant super user privileges to newly created user to do that copy this command and paste it here now log out by typing exit once again type exit to log out completely now try to login as newly created user 